Well, you've submitted your answer. Let's see if you got the right one. Did you say 10 Newtons? This surprises a lot of people, but let's find out why it makes sense. Think back to the situation that I showed you when we first started looking at the scale. I was holding the scale vertically, and I had a 10 Newton bottle of sand on it. Here's the 10 Newton bottle of sand. The only difference between that situation and this is that instead of me supplying an upward force of 10 Newtons to hold the scale, this bottle is supplying the force of 10 Newtons to hold the scale. So in any case, the force, the scale is being held from moving by a 10 Newton force pulling on it. So we have the 10 Newton weight that we're measuring, and we have the 10 Newton force the other direction, which is holding the scale stationary, and so the reading should be 10 Newtons in either case. 